All right, guys. This is Big Out Triple Six here, the Golf Gamer. To be honest, I made this video for about an hour now, and I'm annoyed because I had one video that was actually really, really good, but I was freaking muted for some odd reason. Now, Cyberpunk 2077 is coming out Thursday. All right. I don't know where I'm going with this video. Hell, I don't even know what, what type of title I'm going to make this video. All right. I'm just quite annoyed of making this video. Now, I have seen clips on Twitter of the current, well, last gen gameplay of Cyberpunk 2077. I'm going to buy this mofo on the PS5 when it comes out. So, my opinion, my probably going to be irrelevant to some of you guys, but I just want to voice my opinion. All right. Now, I don't approve people actually doing death threats to some of these content creators. Some of these people shouldn't be even talking about the video game, even though they're actually in a, in a freaking video uh, in, in the game. A lot of peers, your opinion really doesn't matter because you're actually in the fucking game. All right. Now, some of these reviewers have said that this game is a buggy mess even though they're giving it nines and freaking tens even though it's a buggy mess and I know some of these games have a freaking day one patch but also some of these reviewers said that the, this game probably won't be good even with the patch comes in because I watch um, a person called Hard Eight Times Podcast and I like him because he's actually legit. He's not a freaking fraud like some of these gamers are. Okay. He was talking to a person that got the game early. Some of the special, the collector edition, special edition, whatever you want to call it, from Best Buy came out early. And he showed a couple of clips of the game on a PS4 Pro. He said it was a buggy mess and he couldn't stand it. I have seen some of those clips on Twitter more than once. It was a buggy mess. So I'm just trying to figure out why in the hell this game are getting nines and tens, even though it's a buggy mess. Because people didn't give that Fallout 76 nines or tens, even though that game was a buggy mess. So what makes it the fucking difference? Because this company made one fucking game that that was great. I played The Witcher 2. It was kind of it was kind of meh. Some of you guys didn't even hear about The Witcher till Witcher 3 came out or a freaking TV show. All right? So, I don't want to hear nothing about it. Now, it's not cool for people making death threats to these content creators. They're freaking virgins, to be honest. They don't have no life. Just a complain about their favorite company trying to defend them a bunch of weirdos that probably live and live with their mama still which I know a few people that still live with the mama but that's besides the point some of the females do that crap too <sighs> I just wanted to, wanted to rant about this thing to be honest I'm not freaking doing this crap for views I'm just be, being real here man unlike some of these, some of these freaking um Fanboys, not I don't want to call Dreamcast guy a, a freaking fraud, but he was a moron trying to get his his first impressions and opinions out first. Freaking, uh, I think it was what's it a Tuesday? Well, yesterday, because he wanted to get those freaking clicks because he doesn't have a fucking girlfriend now because his girlfriend left him. Uh, I think I see why, but that's besides the point. The developers, freaking took his video down because he was talking about the game a little bit too early even though he paid money for it it was still under NDA contract that you can't not talk about this game not show gameplay of this game not to a couple of days so he's pretty much blacklist probably blacklisted from these from this company but he's being a dumbass because he wanted those views now my thoughts on the game overall, from what I've seen, it's, it looks great. I know CD Projekt Red has great content of telling a story. 
all right? But I know for a fact they're going to um, make DLC for it. So I'm going to wait. And I'm going to wait for that 4K ray tracing of that Witcher 3. And I'm going to buy CD, I'll be Cyberpunk 27.7 on PS5 when it comes out. So I'm going to wait on that mofo. Now, my opinion, honestly, I wouldn't recommend you guys buying it on, on freaking PS4 and, and Xbox One because, man, that stuff is buggy as hell. Buggy as hell. All right. But that's just me. Man. What else I wanted, wanted to talk about? Yeah, I don't understand how you guys praise CD Projekt Red even though they're talking crap about other companies even though they did the same thing. So check it out. CD Projekt Red was talking crap to EA and other people saying they won't have any microtransactions to their um, game. Come to find out, they're doing a um, multiplayer game of Cyberpunk 2077. And they're like, oh, we're going to have microtransactions. Just to let you know, we're going to have microtransactions. But even though they said before, they weren't going to have any. And I hear nobody, nobody complain about that. None. Not one. All right? They said um, about crunching. We're gonna leave it to, leave it to other developers doing that to the to their um um companies. Yet they're doing the same freaking thing. So how in the heck is that even different compared to freaking Rockstar doing it or freaking you know EA doing it or um, Naughty Dog doing it? You know how? What what's the freaking difference? They're they're game de uh, game developers. They're a company. How is that different? Because these fanboys are like freaking obsessed with one game. One game. And I don't understand that. I really don't. <laughs> you know? But man, it's, it's, it's crazy. But that's it did this. Y'all be all over them. Over them in a heartbeat. I've been all over them. You know? Heck. The one time, I don't know if I've even said this, I said, said this freaking crap in multiple videos now of the same, this same freaking video. The last time I seen a game that's freaking hardcore buggy was Fallout 3, and that came out two generations ago, man. Two generations ago, you know. Was it an amazing game? Yes, but I was getting frustrated multiple times of that game crashing. That game crashed on me at least about 12 to 13 times, and I know... I put a um, crap ton of time into it. But people, I know Dreamcast guy said this game was like, I think 11, 10 hours, but he, he, he freaking rushed through the story. He freaking rushed through it, and they struck his video down, which, that's the issue. Getting all, all these views and stuff, and not actually doing this stuff for real. He, he reached 100, uh, 200, 2,000, no, 200,000 subscribers and stuff I'm grateful of that but he does his thing 24-7 and still live with his roommate and stuff but doesn't have a girlfriend because his girlfriend left him and I think I know why but that's besides the point and stuff um, what else I want to say also these SJW gamers I want to punch you mofos in the face because this stuff doesn't even concern about you. Um, Review Tech USA was talking about um, Twitch taking down a certain word called blind playthrough. If you don't know what that is, okay, it's where a person, let's just say, played a game for a first time. And they put blind playthrough. Some of these SJWs are so fucking bored. They ain't freaking complaining to Twitch. It's like, y'all can't say that. You cannot say that. 
We don't want you to say that because that's offensive. Those type of cameras, I want to punch in the fucking face because there's more worse shit on Twitch than somebody saying blind playthrough. Back on the PS4, when Twitch was on the system, I think the first year, people were actually fucking on Twitch. There's an article about it. Hell, when freaking Fortnite Ninja, which I don't, I don't like his, like his ass. He's a, he's a cocky motherfucker. Um, he left Twitch. Okay, as I think Twitch left a link to his channel to like, you know, pretty much, I guess, look at his videos and stuff, whatever. But that link, link, link to a freaking porno site or porno video and stuff, and. He had to apologize, don't that bullshit, but it, it was it wasn't his fucking fault. It was Twitch's fault and stuff. There's worse stuff than that on Twitch than compared to freaking blind blind playthroughs. You know? And Twitch nailed down to these SJWs and stuff. And it's like, we're sorry, we're gonna change it, man. And there's actually games just like, yeah, we did a great job, people, we did a great job. Say it's not cool to say blind people. We say first playthrough. Pl first playthrough is, is appreciated. We don't want you to say blind. Even though these motherfuckers are not legit, legit blind. Some people on Twitter that are like saying they're legit blind. My girlfriend's almost almost freaking legally blind. That's not going to defend her because we don't give a fuck. Alright? We don't give two shits. Okay? That's just small. It's just the younger generation just like just want to punch in the face so badly, dude. And also, if Thanos was real, Thanos snap in a heartbeat. If I had the Infinity Gauntlet, I would get rid of all these idiots in a heartbeat. Because I have seen people comparing the PlayStation 5 to a PC that has a GTX 3070. Trying to say it's it's compatible, it's like freaking competitive to that to that graphics card. Just that graphics card low. And I'm just like, what? Like like really people? Look, I'm not a hardcore PC guy. I listen to Spawn Wave. I listen to freaking um video game outsiders podcast. You guys need to check them out. I they're they're very, very wacky, but if you like Listen to them for a little bit. Not not their like last two episodes because you probably won't like freaking um, crap. What's the fucking game? Not what his name? Fuck not Matt John. He's he's very very like um, how can I put it? Annoying, but he's actually entertaining. I, I really do like him. Um, John, um, Michelle, and Matt. They are actually very very entertaining. I do do like them, and they they like console gaming and PC gaming and stuff and they're really informative about PC stuff so I, I really do listen to them and Review Tech USA I learned a few things from him too and like I said I'm not a huge PC person I said in my last video i more of a console gamer but I try to learn some of that stuff hell I didn't know about freaking ray tracing until Digital Foundry didn't know anything about that until Digital, Digital Foundry but I try to learn as I go but that's about it, guys. These people are freaking idiots. If I had the, inf the infinite, infinity gauntlet, snap in a heartbeat. All these idiots. Done. And it's just like, man, we're, I don't know if it's the, the water in their state or something. But, man, they're legit idiots online. Hell, everywhere. Even, even the people I work with, too. Just, just saying. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I just want to put my two thoughts in there. Freaking Cyberpunk being freaking praised, even though the game somewhat glitchy as hell. Give nines and tens, even though they rant on Fallout 76 and Anthem and freaking Avengers. So why the hell they get a freaking pass, you know? Especially IGN giving a 9 out of 10. Even though they like gave a 7.5 on a Pokemon game that has too much water. Yeah, those are the same people. 
but that's about it, guys. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to try to play Rocket Arena, try to get to level 100, and it's already 917. So I've been doing this video for about an hour now, unfortunately, because uh, just couldn't get the right content out. But I'm out, guys. Stay awesome. Wear your mask. Stay safe. Be healthy. And watch out for idiots. So, see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.